friends. Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day seven, November 2022, obviously, obviously. Um, <clears throat> I've got a fancy cup of tea this morning. I felt like, treat yourself, so I frothed some milk. When I was at the store, they only had the small containers of milk in the lactose-free, which is sweeter than normal milk, and it's funky, but whatever. So we're here to talk about ink. Jeez. Um, here's yesterday's dried splat. I think it's really pretty. Um, I have found the writing to be more like this, less like this. I think this, the pen was a little bit dry. Um, so that's good news. Um, but let's turn the page and go on to today. So we got to pull another ink. Um, just. Putting that into my Excel, well, it's not Excel, my spreadsheet. It has picked number 30. Can we see this? Never mind. Oh, boom. Bashful Blueberry. So this was from what I thought was going to be my first ink flight. But I actually wound up, they sent me, um, I signed up in March so that I would make sure to get April. And they sent me March. And I wasn't going to complain. I'm not complaining. I was like, oh, dope. Uh, so let me put down my laptop. Should we dig through and find the ink together? Why not? Why not? Why not? The cool, the good thing is that these inks all have the same lid. Now, these are like dominoes. Y'all, they're like, it's like trying to set up dominoes. I felt like, it'd be on this end. No, but maybe I'm close. What if I don't even have this ink? Oh, no, here it is. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. There go the dominoes. So... The, um, I, I've told you, uh, the behind the scenes is that I film a day in advance, but I actually use the ink and pen on the day, the calendar day. So even though I filmed this yesterday, I'll use it today. And I think that's a problem because I think then I can't give you my in the minute thoughts of like how it was. So I may try and change that and then use two pins today so that I can talk to you because it turns out this pairing, this with the medium nib and my Twisby was not a good combination. Uh, the ink seems fine, but it wants a broader nib than the one that's in that Twisby. So I may, I don't know, I may try and swap nibs. I may dump it and put it in a different pen. I don't know. It feels like it doesn't matter now that day's behind me, but... Here we are. These are things I think. Oh, so what pin are we putting this in? Hmm. 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 Tempting. Tempting. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, it 
feels like that was actually a pretty close match. That one's pretty close too. <laughs> Maria, this isn't like legally binding. You can just choose a pen. Does one of these make me think of blueberries more? <clears throat> I like it. Let's have a little sip and then pause. You don't have to hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I keep meaning to bring my Inca pet down here and I keep forgetting. Did you hear that? Is that back in my bag just like clapped? Nope. Try one more time. Nope. That's the problem with the amount of sample they give is that it's frequently not enough to fill a pen for me. I think after I do the swatching and all of that. But good thing we learned about syringe filling are, I don't think I watched this. Let's do that. I think after years of service, this syringe is growing tired with its existence. It may be time to let it retire. That looks pretty full. Why am I trying to get more in there? Oh, also the plunger's completely depressed. <sighs> so am I. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> this, is, this time of year sucks. Um... <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 chromatography, chromatography. Let's see if it writes. It should because of reasons. It's fine. Good, cover. Uh, by the way, this pin is a Carolina Pin Company Charleston in the Mermaid Tears color. And I got this at the San Francisco Pin Show this year. In case you haven't seen the video where I talked about it. And I love it. our chromatography strip in the water. Let's do the line here. I got this pin from a work event. And the thing that I found, there was one that said empowered. And as a lefty, it displayed upside down. And I found that just so ironic. 
<laughs> Talk about empowerment. I just, yeah. Oh, I'm sure it looks great if you're right-handed. Let's have another sip of tea because we're salty apparently. Gotta hydrate ourselves. I don't even know if this line is perfect, is, is per particularly straight or even if it's near the middle of the page. My chair's stuck on my flipping table leg. Everything is awesome. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at this. This ink is beautiful, but not particularly complex. <laughs> we didn't expect it to be, did we? I didn't. Let's go. So. I'll ask, how did the time change this week and treat you? We're on day seven. I got okay sleep. I'm crowding my writing and I don't like that. I'm just gonna write pens. Is it Charleston, right? Not Charleston. Surprise, I got this with a B nib. It writes wonderfully in all directions. I am digging this. I picked a good pen. I was worried I should get one with a good flow. The color, while not perfect, is nice. Well, it's perfect, but as like as far as like matching, matchy, matchy, matchy. Mmm, mochi. Um. I'm thinking of going to a fabric store soon, which is near the Asian market. Might get some mochi. I don't like when it's like individual. How many splats do you see, friends? Is it four? Do you see four splats? Yeah, that's for you, my nerd friends, which is, I mean, all of you. We're all nerds about something, aren't we? It's just like, you're not considered a nerd if the thing that you're nerdy about is like mainstream. Like, if you're a nerd about football, you're not a nerd, right? If you're a nerd about, oh, these days, if you're a nerd about superheroes, you're not a nerd. But if you're a nerd about fountain pens, you're a nerd. And that means that you're my kind of nerd. Um, <laughs> deep thoughts with Maria Rosso. <laughs> Happy 30 inks, 30 days, day seven, everyone. What pen and ink are you using today? Um, and are you enjoying it? Do you wish that you, oops, do you wish that you had a bashful blueberry? Uh, I could go for some blueberries right now. They're probably my favorite fruit and I will eat them till I get sick. Uh, that's all for me. Have a wonderful day. Bye.